Hello everyone, my name is Mike, W4OPS for the Stones River Amateur Radio Club. In this video, we are going to go over the WinLink email system. I'm going to show you how to download RMS Express, which is WinLink's preferred software client. And we're going to send and receive our first email using Telnet. Now with Telnet, you're going to send and receive an email over the internet. So you don't need your computer hooked up to an amateur radio for this part. In a future video, hopefully we'll be able to get together and show you how to hook up your radio and be able to send an, e an email via RF, because after all, isn't that the goal? But for right now, we're going to send and receive over the internet using what they call Telnet and RMS Express. So let me flip my computer screen around and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to your favorite internet browser. In this case, I'm using uh, Google Chrome. And you're going to point that browser to winlink.org. Winlink.org is the home to the global radio email network. And you're going to go to my account. This first page that opens up has a lot of information you can look over. But we're going to start right here with my account. Now, please note, you cannot create a WinLink account on this web page. You have to download a client software. WinLink suggests WinLink Express or RMS Express, I believe it's called. And um, that's the one that we're going to be using. Before I click on that, I want to show you down here at the bottom that WinLink accounts stay active only with a client program use. Um, via radio or telnet connections. Webmail and other accesses don't count. And accounts that are off the air for 400 days are automatically purged and you will have to recreate a new account. So if you come up here and if you log in with your username and password to check your email, that's all fine and dandy. But at least once, I recommend at least once a year, you get on um, RMS Express or another client software and you log in that way, and that way you don't lose your um, WinLink account. So we're going to go to WinLink Express. We're going to click on that, go all the way down there. I guess it was formerly RMS Express. Uh, we're going to go down to Download. We're going to click Download the current production version, which will give us the, the latest and greatest software. And we're going to be installing this on a Windows computer. It is a Windows software. Uh, WinLink Express is just for Windows. Now, there are other uh, WinLink client software that does work with an iOS, but this one is strictly Windows, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to go ahead, open the zip folder, and install it. Because it is the Windows, we have to go through all the Windows uh, safety stuff that they want you to do run it anyway and for the most part we're just going to click yes and then next 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 uh, the only thing i'm going to do differently is because i am uh, doing this on my dedicated laptop that i use for amateur radio uh, we're going to do the desktop shortcut that way i have quick access to it on my desktop so we're going to install everything and then uh, once it gets installed we're going to go ahead and open up the software and we're going to launch it by hitting finish we'll let that come up and let me close out of this window and this window so this is where we're at now there are four areas on this express property setup that you have to fill in your call sign which is w4 ops and a case sensitive password i will enter this one here my email address is the other area that you have to um, have entered and finally a grid square now it has to be the six digit grid square you can't just enter em29 and have it work uh, in this case, I'm operating from EN20IP, and that's my grid square. We're going to hit update. Now, if this is the first time you're running the software, 
Uh, it's going to request the information on the right, the optional contact information, but it's not required. So when this screen pops up, you can just hit no. Uh, if you want to, you can go back and fill in that information later. Uh, it is also going to say, um, do you know, want to go ahead and register the program? At this time, I'm going to say remind me later, and we'll get a registration key for it at some point. So this is WinLink Express 1.6.3.0. This is the main screen. If it looks familiar to you, it's because a lot of the old 90s emails were set up like this. And uh, this did start in the late 90s. You have your inbox, your outbox, sent messages. And then on top, you have your settings message, move to, uh, delete, and open session. Like I said, this time we are using Telnet. Um, there are a lot of other ones, and I would love to go over VARA, uh, HF, and FM and um, RDOF with you, but that may be another day. And these all require a um, radio hooked up to your computer. These are all going to be uh, RF uh, transmissions. Uh, Telnet is just going to go over the internet. So we're going to hit a Telnet session, and we're going to go open session. Now, when you open a session, you have exit, settings, start, and time to next auto connect. I want to take a moment and point out that if you go to settings, and you can click on 30 minutes, an hour, 24 hours, whatever, I'm going to hit 30 minutes and hit update. Now you will see it starts counting down and in 30 minutes it will automatically connect. If this is just sitting in your shack or if you're using it for uh, MCOM or something like that and you want it to automatically go in there and check your email for you every 30 minutes or so, uh, make sure you hit the auto connect and leave this window open. Now I don't want to wait 30 minutes so I'm going to go ahead and hit start and this is going to start a session for me. This window reminds me of Windows DOS. It's going to pop up and it's going to tell me what's happening in the background. So it checks the messages. It tells you uh, that it's connected. It will tell me if I've sent any messages, if I've received any messages, and then it will automatically disconnect and start counting down again for that 30 minute timer. We're going to leave that open and jump over to this main window and we're going to send an email. So we're going to come over here to the new message. We're going to click on that, and W0MET, my brother, is going to get a message from me. Winlink, winlink.org is going to be his email address, and we're just going to say this works, video coming soon. Mike, W4OPS. Now, at this point, if you were composing an email on Gmail or Outlook or something like that, you would hit the send button. But if you start looking closely, there is no send button anywhere to be found on this screen. You're going to have to click post to outbox. What this is going to do is it's going to take that message and stick it in your outbox, and it's going to stay there until you start a new session which for us is going to be in 28 minutes and 43 seconds. Well, like I said, I don't want to wait that long, so I'm going to go ahead and automatically start one. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to connect to the system. Uh, it's going to send a one message, the bytes, the time it takes, and it's going to automatically disconnect. You will see over here in the main window that instead of an email in my outbox, I now have a sent item. It's the same way for um, receiving emails as well. Let me send another email. This is going to be to a random call sign, KC0ICP test. This is a test message. Again, we're going to hit post to, I don't know if I, KC. AC0 ICP 
I don't think I have to do the uh, the win link on there. I think it will automatically, if I send as win link message, it will automatically send as a win link message. Test, this is a test message. So we're gonna post to Outbox and come over here to my session, my Telnet session I got going on, and I'm gonna hit start again. It starts a new session and sends that email. Now, I, I happen to know that call sign is not active on the WinLink Express network. So WinLink Express is gonna email me back and say, hey, I can't send this email. Uh, let's see how fast it does that. It already did it. So let's go back to my main window. You can see I have in my inbox, you can see I have in my inbox right here, one unread email. And it's from uh, the service, the system. And it says it's undeliverable. The call sign is not known or invalid. This warning applies only to this call sign. So if I had sent out an email to everyone in the club, uh, everyone in the club who had a WinLink address would have gotten it. And I would have gotten an email back for all the people who haven't signed up for the WinLink system. So this lets you know that your email went through or your email was undeliverable, which is really nice. And I believe with this, I'm just gonna go ahead and let's see, close that. Uh, one of these buttons up here should be, I don't wanna save it. Uh, I want to delete. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete that email. I have a deleted items, my sent items, I could care less about. We're gonna go ahead and delete them too. If I had an important um, email, I could come over here to personal folders and I could create a folder club emails and uh, update that. And then if I wanted to move this email to club emails, I could move that email, hit move to, and now I have an email in my personal folders entitled club emails. So I can have multiple personal folders or I can just go ahead and delete that email if there was no reason for me to save it or if it was about a certain subject, I could create some personal folders. Uh, when you're done with your Telnet session, it is already disconnected. So you can just go ahead and exit out of that software um, or, or that window if you don't want to use it anymore. Uh, if you wanted to leave it open and see if maybe, you know, in a half hour, hour, five hours, six hours, someone replies to you, you can leave that open and just running on your computer like this. But it's only going to check whether or not you have an email when you have this Telnet session open and your auto connect is counting down and it checks periodically. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to be staring at the screen and it's not going to check whether or not it's open. So, in a nutshell, that is WinLink Express, formerly known as RMS Express, and sending and receiving um, emails via Telnet, which is through the internet and not through a radio connection, unlike some of these other down here will be. So, if you have any questions, or even if you don't, Leave something in the comments. It helps out my channel and I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you do have any questions, you can also leave them down below. Uh, hit us up at the next club meeting or um, get on the Slack channel as well. And uh, we can answer any questions on uh, Slack or uh, shoot me an email. You can get a hold of me, w4ops at winlink.org. Thanks a lot, guys, and uh, have a good day. I appreciate it.